in a year and we open, okay? We open with, with a small child, it's not that easy, but we try to open and we see if, if, if there is something. If there is nothing, we tilt the head backwards, okay? Like from this position to this position, okay? This is called the sniffing position, like a dog who tries to sniff, okay? And if a child doesn't start breathing, or if we don't see if the child is breathing, then we are now at breathing. We do a C, we look if the child is breathing. So we see if the chest is inflating. We hear if the child is breathing because our ear is above the mouth. We don't hear if the child is breathing. And we feel if the child is breathing. Sometimes when you have a breath, you could feel like the warm breath on your ear. Okay? So we look. We don't look like this. Because we don't see anything. Yeah? We look like this. Okay? If the chest is inflated. We hear. If the child has some has some um, flu and is breathing, we can hear the flu. We can hear like the mucus. Yeah? And we feel it on our ear. Okay, we do it for 10 seconds, okay? Not less and not more. Okay, so just a quick, um, quick revision. Airway, we control. Is there something there? We tilt the head backwards, okay? There is nothing, and then we look and feel and feel if there is breathing. Okay, then there is a third thing we can do. Circulation, that's the C. But I put it in brackets because this takes us time. If we then try to assess the pulses, mm, the pulses would be here, for example. The femoralis pulse, the pulse on the arm, the pulse on the neck. We are losing time. I have to admit, sometimes in a child which is playing well, which is sitting upright in bed, which is smiling at me, and I try to feel this pulse, I don't feel it sometimes. So you can imagine how hard it is in a child without any pulse. So we would lose much time if we tried the C too long. Mm, I am not sure is there a pulse or not. Already 10 seconds gone. Precious time. Then, hmm, are there pulses? I'm not sure. Mm, let's try more. So we're losing time. We're losing time which we, um, which the child needs. Yeah? Because the child is without breathing, the child is without heartbeat. So this is time. So the circulation I put in brackets. Let's, let's stick to airway and breathing. A, B. And do just a quick C. Circulation, we feel if the hands and the feet are cold. If they are cold, we can assume no blood is coming into the hands and into the feet. Then. Okay, so we have looked at the airways, we have looked at the breathing, and we have looked at the circulation quick. And we see the child that hasn't got the breathing and doesn't, and the heart doesn't beat. What do we do? So, this was the first thing. Control airways, control breathing, and absent breathing, okay? Or inadequate breathing. Is that if the child is just laying there and does like, ah, ah, it's breathing, but it's inadequate breathing. So we start the, the next step nevertheless, okay? So, up until then, I've done the check, but before I've called for help, because the help takes some time, so I don't know. Mm, if you are on the other, so if your sister has found the child and you are on the other end of the hall, and you have to take the emergency equipment, it takes you some time, it takes you 30 seconds, it takes you one minute, then yeah? you'll be ready. So up until that time, your sister has time for the ABC check. Okay? Then, the device with the mask. Okay? And with all this nice medication. So, 
The next step is the five breaths with a very mouth mask. So, first of all, we have to see if the size of the mask is well. The sister Agnes has done, has done a great job. You have um, bought a few masks, a few sizes, and one of them will fit to the child because a 10 year old child has another size of its face than a 2 year old child. Okay? So you have found a mask which you think sits well, fits well. You're putting the mask on the face. Okay? Here you have some, some guidance how it should be. It should cover the mouth, it should cover the nose. And there shouldn't be a free space to for the air, for the air to escape, okay? So, there is a C grip, like a C. The C, your thumb and index finger are on the mask. The other fingers are at the jawline, okay? Not at, at this part, not at the soft part. Okay. Because when you push the soft part, you are the cause of the obstruction and no air will come in. So you are having the other fingers on the jaw, okay? And the thumb and index finger like a C on the mask. And then you do five, um, five breaths. Now in this child we won't see the chest inflating, unfortunately. I tried with this breath, but it wasn't, it didn't work. So, we do. One, two, three, four, five. It should be one second in, one second out, okay? And not to push too hard, because then you let the lungs explode. It's not good. So it's like a soft half pressure, okay? Maximum of half. Um, and if there is another person, you have brought a, <laughs> not like this, eh? <laughs> But the child won't recover from this. Eh? <laughs> and another person who came, brought the equipment, can be like this and see if the chest is inflating. Okay? Well, then we've got the circulation part, but we know our check of the circulation is just a quick check of the feet and hands. Okay? Well, so after having done the five initial breaths, we start. The one person who has done this stays here, okay? The second person who brought the equipment goes away from the equipment, goes to the other side, it's Dr. Josephine, and starts with the 15 chest compressions. Where do I compress? On the sternum. The sternum is from here to here. You feel the soft part here? Yes. That's where you don't press, because we have to press on the sternum. And just uh, above, a little bit um, above, the above the soft part, there is a fragile part of the sternum, which we don't press neither. It's too fragile, we could break it off. So you go a little bit up, till, it's, till you feel it really hard, okay? It's between the nipples for example, okay, of the child then. Okay, so in this part we press, we focus on the midline between the two nipples and that's where we press. For small children, it's this position, like Dr. Josephine is standing, yeah? Yes. And you do, in the best case you do one point like this, because you are then, you are then having a focal point where you put all your pressure on, okay? In a bigger child, in a toddler, it's now too small, but we use it like this. We do our fist, and with this, this is our focal point. We do like one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay? And in a big child, it's like in an adult. Okay? In an adult, it would be like one, two, three, four. Okay? In a small child, it's like this. In a big child, it's like an adult. Okay? In a small child, in a baby, we know. A big child, you're breaking from age. I don't know, I, I would say 12, 13, then they are like almost teenagers. I would say teenagers. 
Okay? Well, and one thing to remember as well is to decompress as well. Because pressing is important, good pressing, but also decompressing. Because if you do like, we don't let, we, we do like what we do with the compressions is we compress the heart so that a pulse of blood goes into the, into the body. But for the heart to take up some new blood, it has to be decompressed. That's why we have to be good in compression, but also in decompression, okay? Mm. Well. Mm -hmm. And now the second thing is, now we have this location of the compression, we have the strength of the compression. Now the question is, how fast do I compress? What is the... What is the heartbeat of a child, let's say? Is it bam, 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 or is it bam, 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 bam? If you've auscultated the child, eh? Bam, 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 bam. Yes. <laughs> so it's, it's, above, it's certainly above 120 beats per minute, eh? Um, a rule of thumb is there is a song. There is a song which has the right which has the right frequency. I'll try to turn it on. Hmm? It's staying alive. It's ironically it's like... That one? <laughs> the other time we sing it. <laughs> Stay alive. Staying alive. Staying alive. <laughs> you got the rhythm? Uh, yeah, it's like ah 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 staying alive, staying alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's your rhythm. That's also for adults and also for children. Okay. And it's 15, 15 compressions, and the other person does then two, one. Two. Two. And then you start again, okay? Mm -hmm. And what's in, what is important if you do, do, okay. do your 15 compressions? And I didn't count, eh? I didn't yeah, count? Didn't. Yes, I didn't count, and, but you count, okay. eh? And you, you can stop. And I'm ah okay. I have to I have to ventilate. Mm. Eh? So it's good if you do the, the last three or the last four you say out loud. Okay. Mm. So you do like 13, 14, 15. Then I'm prepared to do like the one, two, two. and you then start again. Okay. Mm. And so the most important thing is establish this. Um, it's 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 important, but not that important to have an IV line to have anything else. First, first and foremost, we have to establish this. 15 to 15 to 15 to. And to be honest, with two, two people, we cannot do more. Because we, as a main rule, if you take something home from this, it's not, not stop, eh? never, never stop. Just with one exception, okay? The exception is, after three minutes, you have to change, because Josephine, also if, if she was the strongest woman on earth, <laughs> she could, she could, her effectivity of chest compression is decreasing from minute to minute. That's why the person who does ventilation has more strength. Yeah? That's why after three minutes we change. And during that change we do a quick, a quick ABC assessment. It shouldn't be long, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be auscultating, it shouldn't be, I don't know, feeling pulses. The quick ABC is the one which I've showed before, okay? 
it's like is there some obstruction ah there is some obstruction hmm. let's take let's take it out okay i see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay no breathing how are the extremities ah they're still cold okay so by now we have changed and we start again 2 and 15 2 and 15 okay mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so let's do it like this and eh? so to have it more comfortable it's so and the c grip okay it's like yes one thumb is here so here and the other fingers tilt okay yes and then you do like one, two, and I start with one. Mm -hmm. And feel slowly. less pressure and feel slowly, okay? Try one, two, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, and we do this together if we are two. That's all we can do if we are two people. But let's say we are in children's work, there's always someone around, okay? There's at least a third person. A third person brings in new possibilities. The possibility of giving fluids, the possibility of giving adrenaline, okay? We have two kinds of fluids and one kind of medication we can give, okay? So that